Welcome to new video, we upload informational videos daily. Make sure to subscribe us. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, link is in description, let's jump to video. Apologies from Iranian leaders over the downing of an airliner last week have done little to quell mass anti-government protests spreading across the country. Thousands of demonstrators hit the streets this weekend condemning Iranian authorities for shooting down a Ukrainian passenger plane and killing all 176 people on board. The airliner disaster came hours after Iran fired missiles at Iraqi military bases housing U.S. troops. That was retaliation for a drone strike at Baghdad airport that killed Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani. Amid rising tensions in the region, eight Katyusha rockets hit Iraq's Balad Air Base, north of Baghdad, on Sunday, wounding four Iraqi Air Force officers, the Iraqi military said in a statement. No American or coalition forces were at the base when the rockets struck, a U.S. military official. In Iran, demonstrators are calling for Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei to step down and for those responsible for downing the plane to be prosecuted. Khamenei have shame. Leave the country, chanted protesters in the capital, Tehran, in footage posted on social media. Khamenei has been in office for three decades, and there is no limit to his term. Protests have now spread to other cities, including Shiraz, Asfahan, Hamadan and Oromiya, Reuters reported. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted his support for the demonstrators, saying his administration will continue to stand by you. Likewise, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu voiced his support for the protesters and called on European powers to increase pressure on the Iranian regime. Iran previously denied U.S. claims that the country had struck down the plane before admitting the mistake Saturday. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani said his country deeply regrets this disastrous mistake and his thoughts and prayers go to all the mourning families. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif blamed the disaster on human error and U.S. adventurism, he downed planes victims included 57 Canadians, and the country's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau told a press conference Saturday that what Iran has admitted to is very serious. Canada will not rest until we get the accountability, justice and closure that the families deserve. Rouhani told Trudeau he was committed to collaborate, to give closure to the victims, to escalate tensions in the region and continue this dialogue, the Canadian PM said. Iranian authorities are in possession of the two flight data recorders, also known as black boxes, which Ukrainian investigators got access to Friday, make sure to subscribe us. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, link is in description.